Well, good evening, County Commissioners. My name is Brian Hawks. I think you know that by now. I'm not going to speak about the budget that was recently passed, even though I believe a lot can be said about that. Instead, I want to talk about freedom of speech, because I think some people in the county have clearly forgotten about that. At least when it comes to that political speech. In fact, a lot of people will do anything to regulate or manipulate that kind of speech. Why, you ask? Well, it's kind of simple, really, if uh, they don't fit your agenda or, you know, something of that nature, and you can't control something, you feel helpless. As an individual, I am fed up with the endless hordes of nonsense I have had to put up with. Tell me why a group or organization has to be registered on paper to comply with, with the county or any other entity. <coughs> when we're just simple people gathering together and trying to educate the public. Last time I checked, we are a free people. At least last time I checked. And if that is the case, shouldn't we be allowed to have freedom of association with a group and or organization of other individuals without being a target? If I should speak a little bit more freely tonight, I'd try holding the candidate for them. You know, the ones here are running here locally in the office. I won't say any names. But that could not be done. Because to put something on public television, it has to run through kids' vote. Well, that just means more paperwork. Now, I was willing to pay up front, pay the money, pay the cash, pay the fee, do all the handling myself, just get it recorded and put it on public television. No problem. But that wasn't good enough. I guess we just can't have open debate with citizens coming together. That's just too far out of the question. The whole situation reminds me of what Samuel Adams said so many years ago. He said, Quote, if ever a time should come when vain and aspiring men and women shall possess the highest seats of government, our country will stand in need of experienced patriots to prevent its ruin. And I thought that public television was that. Public. I thought if I paid it, I could get it. And I invited everyone. Not just a second for you. I sent out mail. Come. Join. I won't open and like open dialogue and whatnot. And let me give a little small history and philosophy lesson about freedom of speech, if anybody's drawing a blank. It does not mean that you can regulate it, that you can put a fine on it, that you can put paperwork on it. It does not mean that you can put cronies to shut somebody down. It means freedom. Congress shall make no law. It doesn't say some law. It says no law. I've been asked with my group to be formed the PAC, the Political Action Committee, for those of you who do not know that, or nonprofit, many times. I don't want that. I don't need it. It's a lot of paperwork. It's a lot of red tape. It's a lot of nonsense. I just want to do it. Still without this, I face much upheaval. Many people uh, fear that since we're not registered or do not comply with some sort of code or paperwork, they do not want to help the organization that I speak of because they're afraid that big government might come down and do them harm. And nobody wants to stand in front of the heavy hand of government all alone. This is just wrong. Citizens shouldn't fear about expressing their First Amendment rights. Never. Never. No single individual organization should have to do or face what I've had to face in the past few months in this county. It's ridiculous and it's disgusting. It's disgusting to this county and its people. It's disgusting to the founding liberties that this country was founded on. Yes, some will say, just go up the paperwork and dot the I's and cross the T's. I've done that. That don't work. Now, I'm not going to play that game anymore. There seems to be a few corrupt individuals who want to rig the system. I lived on the basic principle. I may not agree with what you have to say, but I would fight and die for your right to say it. French philosopher Voltaire said that so many years ago in France. And those who run and hide from freedom of speech are not only cowards, but they show the real colors and they talk about their political ideology. If you can't talk to the public about where you stand and what's your issues and what you think, you don't need to be running. I'll make it very clear. Now, I could go on and on about what government shouldn't do, but there is one thing government should do, and that is protect its citizens' liberties against other intruding forces. Because if government doesn't, it only leaves the people, us, individuals, to do it on our own. Thank you.